Welcome back. We continue to monitor storms moving into our area. You are looking live from the WRL camera network at South Hill, Virginia, seeing the ominous dark clouds there. That storm about to move through and then it's headed east. Meteorologist Kat Campbell will have the latest in just a couple minutes. Neighbors say this is the man who barricaded himself at his home in Kenley and then started shooting. Witnesses say they heard Joshua Haynes arguing loudly before shooting multiple times early Sunday morning. WRAL's Keenan Willard joins us live now at the home on Wilson Street with the questions we're pressing investigators to answer. Keenan. Lena, today we've moved our way over to Town Hall in downtown Kenley, where we're pressing police for answers about what took place, really how this situation resolved. We know from witnesses that there were gunshots fired. Police have confirmed that there was a barricaded subject. But how did this end? Because there are people in this community who want to know, did officers shoot Joshua Haynes? Neighbors say Joshua Haynes recently moved to this home in Kenley with his wife and three children. I heard arguing and screaming between the two of them. <clears throat> then there were two shots from a small sidearm. Witnesses tell WREL they called police, who arrived soon after. They then heard officers asking Haynes to leave the house or allow his family to leave. Then more violence broke out. A hail of gunfire later. Um, silence. Shots. Must have been like 12 to 14. Um, shotguns and sidearms. Neighbors say an ambulance then left the home with sirens on. We asked Kenley police if any officers fired their weapons or shot anyone at the home. The police chief said he had no update and the case is still under investigation. We also reached out to multiple family members of Joshua Haynes and his wife who had no comment at this time. Now, we also pulled state law enforcement records that show Haynes has a lengthy record of violence towards law enforcement. Some of his previous charges, including being charged with assaulting an officer and assaulting a public official dating all the way back to 2012. Now, the SBI was on scene at the home yesterday as well. We reached out to them to ask if they are investigating this as an officer involved shooting. We're still waiting to hear back. Lena. Keenan Willard reporting live for us in Kenley. Thank you. The people in Oxford could soon see some upgrades to their neighborhood park. Oxford City Commissioners will meet 